What's up, everybody? It's the Alex Leak and Friends NFL Podcast back for another week. I am your host, Alex Leak, and this is the 2019 Week 14 Baltimore Ravens at the Buffalo Bills episode. The 10 and 2 Ravens at the 9 and 3 Bills. A big game as the Ravens are red hot with MVP favorite quarterback Lamar Jackson tearing it up this whole season. And the Buffalo Bills coming off a big win on Thanksgiving at Jerry World over the Dallas Cowboys on national TV. So both teams riding high coming into this one. As the you know Ravens coming to Buffalo, big test for the Bills who a lot of people say haven't been tested that much this year. Big game for them and a good test for the Ravens going up against a pretty stout Buffalo defense. So let's get into this one. Ravens kicker Justin Tucker starts it off with a 36-yard field goal to put him up 3 to nothing. Then Lamar Jackson would flip a 3-yard touchdown pass to tight end Nick Boyle, and the Ravens would have a 10 nothing lead. Bills kicker Steven Hauschka makes a 36-yard field goal to cut it to 10-3. Another 47-yard field goal would make it 10-6. So the Ravens lead at halftime 10-6 in Buffalo. First half, first uh, drive of the second half, Lamar Jackson throws a 61-yard touchdown pass to tight end Hayden Hurst to extend the lead to 17-6. To Steven Hauschka then makes a 48-yard field goal to cut it to 17-9. To Lamar Jackson throws a 4-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Willie Sneed to put him up 24-9. to And then Bills quarterback Josh Allen throws a 3-yard touchdown pass to Cole Beasley. Two-point conversion pass is good, and then we got a seven-point game, 24-17. to On fourth and eight from the Ravens' 16-yard line, Bills quarterback Josh Allen uh, throws a pass, but the, play, the pass is batted down by Ravens' corner Marcus Peters. So it's a game-winning play by Marcus Peters. Great play. This is why you want a guy like Marcus Peters on your team. You know, I've heard some people saying that they wouldn't want Marcus Peters on their team, that he's like a, a locker room issue. I would disagree on that. I would want him on my team. He's a playmaker, and he's shown that a lot this year uh, for the for the Ravens. So good acquisition for them, and it's, you know, paying off. He had that pick six against the Seahawks. Big game-winning play in this one, getting the job done. Ravens defeat the Bills 24-17 in New Era Field. Let's go to the Ravens stats. Lamar Jackson combines for 185 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception. He is the second quarterback in NFL history to rush for 1,000 yards in a season, joining Michael Vick. So quite the accomplishment by Lamar Jackson, and he definitely belongs in the same conversation as Michael Vick with this type of year that he's having. Running back Mark Ingram combines for 79 yards. Tight end Hayden Hurst catches three for 73 yards and a touchdown. Veteran safety Earl Thomas showing out in this one with seven tackles, a sack, a tackle for loss, and a forced fumble. Corner Marcus Peters records four tackles and three passes defensed, including the game winner, so he was balling the entire game. And linebacker Matt Judon records five tackles, one and a half sacks, a tackle for loss, and a forced fumble. Kicker Justin Tucker goes 1-of-1 one one on field goals and 3-of-3 three three on extra points. The Ravens have set a franchise record this season for points scored in a single season with 430. And the Ravens improved to 9 straight wins, the longest streak in franchise history. So, hell of a year for the Ravens. And uh, they've got it going right now. After starting one and two, they find themselves, or no, after starting ten and two. No, what was it? Nine straight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. After starting the year two and two, nine straight to be to get to eleven and two. Uh, their defense has allowed less than 25 points in nine straight games as well. So the defense also playing a big part in this team's success. I think, you know, as much as Lamar Jackson is bringing to the offense, this defense is doing a great job on the other side of the ball. 
during this winning streak. For the Buffalo Bills stats, quarterback Josh Allen goes 17 of 39 for 146 yards, a touchdown, and a fumble lost. He was beat up a lot in this game. He was getting hit an awful lot, and that offensive line needs to do better to protect him, but that's a solid Ravens defense over there. Rookie running back, who I was high on, coming into the league, Devin Singledary, combines for 118 yards. Wide receiver Cole Beasley catches four for 29 yards and a touchdown. That's his sixth receiving touchdown on a year, and that's a career high for him. So Cole Beasley doing really well in Buffalo. Linebacker Tremaine Edmonds records eight tackles, two tackles for loss, and an interception in the game. And kicker Steven Hauschka goes three for three on field goals. Up next, for the Ravens, they improve to 11-2 and, and will play tomorrow night against the 5-8 and eight Jets in Baltimore. That should be uh, a relatively easy win for the Ravens. I expect them to take care of business and improve to 12-2 and two as they're shooting for that one seed in the AFC. For the Bills, they fall to 9-4 and four and will travel to Heinz Field on Sunday Night Football to take on the 8-5 and five Steelers. That is no joke, and I've actually got the Steelers winning that game. Um, you know, I know they got Duck Hodges starting at, at quarterback, but... I and, you know, and a lot of people are like, how are the Steelers this good without Ben Roethlisberger and all these issues? But their defense is damn good too. It's going to be a great game in Heinz Field on Sunday Night Football. Bills Steelers should be a lot of fun to watch. But yes, I've got the Steelers finding a way to win that and sending these Bills to a two-game losing streak. So we'll see if that happens. Bills also, you know, only a game back trying to win the AFC East. And uh, they have a big showdown with the Patriots in Week 16. So we'll see how that goes. But you don't want to be on a two-game losing streak going into that Patriot game. So if the Bills can find a way to beat the Steelers on the road. I just think this Bills team is a little bit untested. So a road game on prime time against the Steelers, I think it might, be, it might get to them. Although that's what we said about the Bills-Cowboys game. And uh, that was the opposite of what happened. Um, but I think the Steelers team is better well run than the Cowboys, and I think the Steelers will find a way to win that game. So my picks for these two Ravens and Steelers, the two home teams, get the win. And I believe Ravens-Steelers play each other one more time this year, too, in Week 17. So that should be a hell of a matchup there. So we'll see if the Ravens and Steelers can take care of business. Uh, I'm lo really looking forward to that Bills at Steelers game on Sunday Night Football. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I got a player interview out today as well, so check that one out with uh, former Saints and Rams fullback Mike Carney. So thanks for the support, guys. Stay tuned. I'll keep these episodes coming out. Have a great week, guys. Peace out.